What does Cole Kerrigan have to do with the Ace family? Why is he inserting himself in something that has nothing to do with him? I have facts to speak. It will be said, point blank period, I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're the issue. If no one comes forward about it, it will happen again. I immediately called my friend and told her that he was paid off $500,000 to keep quiet about the situation and that I needed to come forward. Alright, welcome back to the home of quality content. Today's video is going to be built around the Ace family. The family who had the luxury of working a 9 to 5 job. Absolutely astonishing that. Yeah. Okay, on a serious note, this video is going to be talking about the recent allegations and dissecting a lot of the information involving a guy named Cole Carrigan who recently released a video called The Truth About The Ace Family, which had over 7 million views to date. The whole point of this video was to expose Austin with leaked DMs and a phone call. Hmm. Now, what could a man with a surname like McBroom possibly have done? How does no one know their entire brand is fake? Austin tickled so many of my friends recently, even one girl with his own father, and Catherine knows and is okay with it, as long as he's home in time for the vlogs, laughing, crying face. Yeah, because that's hilarious, Cole. I'm almost in tears from laughter. So there's a brief of what today's video will be about. Beware, there is a new level of clowning in this video, so if you do have high blood pressure, fluffy kittens are recommended, because the last thing we need is people's hearts and vaginas exploding all over their iPhone 11s. Or Nokia's if you're poor. So this is the first time watching one of my videos Please make sure you do hit the subscribe button and leave a like because it helps me out more than you beautiful people will ever know But yes, let's start from the beginning. Who is the Ace family? They're a family channel with 17 million subscribers who mainly focus on child-friendly content There are currently four in this family which are Austin McBroom <coughs> Yes, I said McBroom. Also his fiance Catherine Piers. Not forgetting their two very young children, Ellie and Alia. And Alia McBroom is only 11 months old and she's on famous birthdays before me. <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm fine. Ah! Just gonna sweep the floor with a lot of them, to be honest. However, there's a lot of drama surrounding the Ace family recently this year, with suspicions of Austin alleged cheating on Catherine with multiple girls, even having the girls to sign an NDA form, which stands for No Dick Austin. No, 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 no. no. It's basically a non-disclosure agreement where they, they agree not to disclose any information, which is already a red flag, to be honest, if these allegations are true. However, Catherine did respond to this by basically sweeping them under the rug and taunting them on Twitter, even though multiple girls come forward and even a video was released on him saying that someone witnessed him cheating. Following this, Tony a few weeks ago where he decided to run a jet ski across his pool which caused the water to flood over the edge right on top of their neighbours. You're insane! You're actually insane. You're disrespectful- Very mature, Austin. Doing donuts in a pool definitely gives me that manly vibe. I wish I was as cool as you. However, his neighbours really wasn't happy with this. Then the second to last drama that broke loose, they had a once in a lifetime opportunity to work a 9 to 5 job, which became a commentary channel's wet dream if I'm honest. Watching these rich people step into the territory of the poor environment and insult their daily grinds just to be able to afford an electric bill to finish the season of Peaky Blinders. Whew, that took a lot. Family, we're gonna be actually working, like cooking, taking orders. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna ask uh, our friends who actually own the restaurant, we're gonna ask them, what do you need us to do today? I personally, oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna check in like yeah, I personally want to take orders I think that's cool like I want to do that I want to be cooking about there flipping the chicken <laughs> and ace family to make it legit We have to wear work attire uniforms. Yeah, so when we get there, we're gonna change our clothes I already wore my boots today. Oh You love to see it and here's me having to request a bank loan just to buy the cheap version of Dr. Pepper However, now moving on to more serious topics Cole's video attempted to expose Austin McBroom Seriously don't want to miss this because it's a running circus Did Cole Carrigan expose Austin? Or did he expose himself? Ah, good evening my fellow watchers of the Curtis Price channel. You can refer to me as Dr. Don Valentine. <laughs> I am a time traveler who closely overlooks content and then presents it to all of you in a unique way. Now, let's begin with Cole Carrigan's video. In this video, he attempted to expose Austin for having sex with his dad. No. Oh. Trying to expose Austin and his dad for allegedly getting a couple of girls drunk and then rapping them. You know, R A R A B. You know, can't say the word because demonetization. <laughs> for alleged victims came forward in this video on a few allegedly leaked DMs. Now, 
What's Cole Carrigan got to do with this? Well, apparently these alleged victims are in fact close friends with Cole Carrigan himself. But this isn't quite how the whole thing began. He actually reached out to Keemstar first and requested a drama alert to be made on the Ace family. However, when Keemstar asked to interview the victims, he never responded. So anyhow, Cole doesn't get back to me. He doesn't hook me up with his friend that hooked up with Austin. And so I have no video, so I don't make a video. However, Cole Cardigan did in fact get back to Keemstar only a few days later and said, how much did the Ace family pay you not to make the video? Skull emoji. Ooh. Which Keemstar replied with 500k. Now I know what you're all thinking. Wait a second, Keemstar accept a bribe not to make a drama alert on someone? So here's what Cole Carrigan said in his exposed video. So I texted him saying how much did they pay you to keep quiet and he responded with this and I was completely shocked. I immediately called my friend and told her that he was paid off $500,000. Ah, but that's not the whole story, is it? Call my friend. You actually missed a big, big detail out in your video, how the fact Keemstar only replied to you a couple of hours later saying that he was being sarcastic. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, he clicked enter so the message wouldn't appear. <laughs> Cole Carrigan is a smart man. <laughs> what else can I say? Trust is dropping faster than your mother's knickers. Now this is why suspicion is raised. Can Cole Carrigan be trusted? Now I'm not saying Austin McBroom is completely innocent. But as you can see, here is a picture of what it seems to be blood on the sheets after Austin and his father forced their way into the girls' rooms and wrapped them. Allegedly. But here's what one of the girls said to their ex-boyfriends. Hey, me and my friend are in the bad situation in Miami. Just wondering if you could help. Thanks. You okay? No, my friend got wrapped, and I'm pretty sure we're in danger. Whoa, I don't even know what to say. Where are you? And why are you still in danger? I know, I'm so sorry for bringing this upon you. Just don't have anyone out here in my army to help out. So sorry. <sighs> now are these screenshots fake? Well, it's very hard to say with things like Photoshop existing these days. And even then, I still can't get laid. In these DMs, the girls appear to be scared. But what does Cole Carrigan have to do with any of this? So I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking... What does Cole Kerrigan have to do with the Ace family? Why is he inserting himself in something that has nothing to do with him? He should just become a drama channel at this point. Whenever it involves people that I love, I don't care who you are. I will speak what I want to speak. And if I have facts to speak, it will be said. Point blank period. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're the Ace family. Now, let's hold on to that statement. That apparently he's doing this for his friends. The people he loves, if you will. Oh, isn't that wholesome? Defending his friends of a serious crime. He must really care about them. But surely he can't be caught lying. Or is that too late? Every day I'm shitting and I'm pissing on this hypocrisy. So apparently Cole is doing this to help his friends out of love. Apparently to help his friends who has been a poor victim of a serious, serious crime. But if he believes that it's so wrong, why would he have said this to one of the victims? But the point of this was not to upload the video, it was to scare them into paying us off because they pay Dramalert 500k. So I'm sure they would pay me 100k or more not to say shit. I would split that with you guys if you help me and send me all the receipts that I need. Well then, catching someone in a lie really does get me off at night. So the cardigan himself, how are you going to explain these texts that you sent to the victims? Just, so just because Keemstar made a joke about the Ace family paying him 500k to stay quiet, you thought you'd be greedy about it and try to bribe the Ace family into paying you 100k. Using such a serious situation to bribe someone into paying you, you know that's against the law, right? Cole, it's time to pull that makeup brush out of your ass and own up to your mistakes. By no means did the victims condone this. This is what the victims had to say against Cole. To speak in the video that Cole Carrigan posted, some of you already figured out that I'm the other girl they're talking about in that video. I feel this video was made for the wrong reasons, and this wasn't Cole's story to tell. He even texted me saying we could potentially get paid 100 grand from this. Following this claim that Drama Alert was paid off 500k, I wasn't aware Amanda or Cole were in contact with Drama Alert, an enormously run out story. But I was aware of Cole's video being made, and I only ever wanted it to be factual if it was ever going to be posted. I want to say that Austin Austin McBroom is not to blame for the situation. Yeesh. And even the victim was saying it wasn't Mr. Cardigan's story to tell. Cole, you're in some really deep shit. But as you read right there, apparently it wasn't Austin's fault to blame in the situation. Allegedly saying that he isn't to blame for the rapping of these victims. That's very interesting. So it seems that one of the reasons Cole was doing this purely to get money out of the Ace family for his own greed. Be using such a serious, serious, illegal crime to make money. That's... Extremely.
up. After Cole's video was released, Austin did in fact release a statement on Twitter saying that he's taking legal action against Mr. Cardigan himself. Supposedly it seems that Austin is more or less innocent now the victim has claimed that he is not to blame. Or was there a gap spotted in his story? Alright, welcome to HQ. Now I'm going to try a bit of a different scenery this time. But I firstly would like to mention, um, I am single. Now, as I previously mentioned, Austin is in fact preaching that he's taking legal action against the cardigan himself. My nan will be devastated. She loves cardigans. I'll oh, just shut up. However, this is what Austin posted on Twitter. I would like to start off by saying that me and my family is taking this situation very seriously on the allegations that have been brought upon me. Like I mentioned already, we are taking legal action to handle this matter of extortion. We are confident that Mr. Blank will see the truth of this matter and hold those accountable for their extortion. Austin the McBroom. All right, that's fair enough. But there's just one problem, Austin. Why are you taking legal action only against extortion? Firstly, what is extortion? It is the practice of obtaining something, especially money, through force or threats. Oh, then I have one question for you, Austin the McBroom. Why not take legal action against slander? Slander is basically making a fake statement with the intentions to damage someone else's reputation. So maybe Austin does have more skeletons in the closet than in the public eye. Now, in case your animals haven't evolved yet, the fact he's taking legal action against extortion and not slander does make it seem that the allegations made in that video was in fact true. Now if he was innocent, wouldn't he have protected himself by pleading a case of slander? Something really stinky is going on here. <laughs> Shit, is that burning? Oh fuck my pizza! Now it does seem as if some really fishy stuff is going on with Austin. I do indeed believe that he did cheat on his wife in the past, but saying if these rape allegations are true or not, there is no solid evidence just yet if he did rap those victims or not. The victims in the Instagram post claim that Austin was not to blame. However, Keemstar himself apparently knows disclosed information that isn't released on the internet yet, and apparently he's starting to believe the allegations because of the evidence that's been put before him. So if you do want me to keep you updated on the situation, please let me know. By the way, if you haven't followed my social medias yet, be sure to follow my Twitter and Instagram. If you want to shout out at the end of every single video, then do retweet my pinned tweet on Twitter and comment on this picture on Instagram. Comment, you're ugly because yeah, I'll notice that one. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this situation. It seems to me, in my opinion, that everyone is guilty of at least something. Cole is guilty for extortion. Is Austin guilty of the accusations? But let me know in the comment section and without further ado, I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, peace. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh.